Well, as rough as presidential politics can be, it is nothing compared to what's going on in Maine. One lawmaker is calling for an intervention for the governor after he unloaded on a political rival. Jim Axelrod is following this. 95% of this state is white. Even for Maine Governor Paul LePage, never shy about speaking his mind, the obscene voicemail he left as state legislator yesterday was stunningly blunt. Mr. Gatine, this is Governor Paul Richard LePage. I would like to talk to you about your comments about my being a racist sucker. The two-term Republican governor exploded after a reporter told LePage that Democratic State Rep Drew Gatine had criticized him for saying Wednesday that 90% of drug dealers arrested in Maine are, quote, black and Hispanic people from out of state, a figure he cites using his own personal collection of headlines culled from newspapers. I want you to prove that I'm a racist. I've spent my life helping black people, and you little son of a socialist fucker, you, I need you to, this freaking, I want you to, Record this and make it public because I am after you. No, I did not call Governor Plage a racist. I, I Gatine says he called those remarks racially well, charged, party, but never uh, called you know, the yeah, governor no, I, a I, racist. You know, I, that, I was really glad that I wasn't in the room with him when he left it because he really sounded like somebody who, you know, was, was about to commit physical violence. And, and it was really a, a stunning message. This afternoon, LePage apologized for the people of Maine having to hear the voicemail, but not for the voicemail itself. Everything I said to him is less insulting to me than being called a racist. After leaving the voicemail, LePage then said he wanted to challenge Gatteen to a duel and point his gun, quote, right between his eyes. Today, JB, the governor backed off that, saying it was simply a metaphor and that he meant no physical harm. Jim Axelrod.